Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're taking a look into Leo's new love reading for the month of September. In this message we are first going to tap into the energies with a traditional deck. And in this message we are just diving right into the message um, and looking into how your person is feeling and thinking about themselves and their situation. We'll also try to tap into the astrological sign here, as well as, is this last? Will this last? Are there soul ties? And is this something that you truly desire? We'll clarify the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Leo, what we can see for you guys for the month of September 2020. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Leo Spirit. What does Leo need to see for September 2020? Please and thank you. Please keep in mind guys that the messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that are offered, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free personal readings, it's all linked below. And Leo, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here, and it does help set your intentions for future messages. So, Leo, all right. All right, Leo. All right, Leo. So the underlying energy here is the Four of Cups. This card talks about in this card. He's meditating. This card a lot of times is holding back or uh, withholding. Okay. Uh, can also symbolize not making a decision. Okay. Or ignoring the opportunities presented. I feel here, Leo, this could be you, um, but I'm feeling that this is your person. They're holding back or withholding or, um, and again, this could be you as well. Okay. So, for your person's energy, we have the Three of Cups and the Emperor. So I feel as if this person, if I get, I'm getting this free energy, okay? I feel like this person maybe has gone through something that was holding them back in a sense in their own life. And I feel like they've maybe just recently released themselves from this connection or this situation. And I feel like even though they are freeing themselves from the situation, there's a change that's taken place within them. Maybe before they used to be a little bit more naive or um, rushing into things. And now there may be this more cautious approach to relationships. Three of Cups can be a celebration. Sometimes people will take this as like an engagement party or some type of a party. But in for some reason, I feel this energy of feeling freed. Okay, of feeling freed from a, a situation that maybe was really controlling. There's a difficult situation somebody here is moving forward from now this could be you leo 
this could be your person. This is definitely a heavy energy that is being moved through here. For some reason, I feel like this is your person here, Leo. This is what they're moving away from. This is what they're freeing themselves from. Five of Wands, Six of Swords. Now, when in this deck, you can see in the Six of Swords, she is holding a box like she is sacrificing. Focus on the balance. Have patience. Temperance is patience as well. Have patience with this process. Um, if this is something that you see, or if this is a person that you see yourself in alignment with, I feel like we're going to get some clarification out on these cards. But what I feel here is there's still this cautious energy. We have the page of wands here. This is paying attention to all of the, all the surroundings paying attention to all the details, the ins and outs, how this person's reacting in certain situations, focusing on the balance. I feel like the, the magician is telling me you have what it takes to bring this to fruition. However, this person is moving through a very difficult situation my advice would be to allow them to handle that on their own before you move forward with this person. They could be even dealing with the justice card here. They could be dealing with something that involves a legal matter. This could be a divorce, uh, something to have to do with paperwork, legal paperwork, legal matters. A lot of times justice is the court system. So let's get some clarification for Leo. What does Leo need to see here regarding this new love interest? Six of Pentacles. There's a lot of cards symbolizing balance coming out. The sun card is in reverse, so there may even be some delays. They're having to, there may be some confusion. Maybe they feel like they're free or they're moving forward perfectly normal in some instances and some in instances not. I do feel like there are some delays that they're working through here. The moon card. seven of wands so this person there's definitely the moon is secrets hiding um it can also be things not very clear at this time things kind of still up in the air okay because this person is guarded they may also be trying to control the situation a little bit here and yes it's understandable especially if you've been hurt in the past but at some point you have to make a decision to move forward, okay? Um, now it's gonna depend on how new this connection is here. If this is a person who is maybe a month, two months in, then you have to decide, you know, am I gonna wait around for this person to handle their business justice? Or am I going to move forward in a different connection? see what cards fell out over here we're going to reshuffle and get one more card yeah this person's definitely healing potentially from a third party situation that could be why they're guarded one more card here for the hanged man to change in perspective this could also be that they are having to get a divorce, something along those lines, because again, the justice card is a legal matter. Okay. Trust your intuition. You're going to be able to tell. I do feel here there is a connection. There's definitely a connection here. 
um, coming forward. But I also feel that this, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. Depending on where along on your journey is going to depend um, your next move, your next steps moving forward. Clarify the temperance here for Leo, please and thank you. Knight of Swords with the strength, clarifying the temperance. Okay, so there's a need here, a need for acceptance. This is kind of like an uphill battle though. I will, I'm just going to say it. That's the energy that I'm getting here, Leo. This is going to be an uphill battle for you and this person. Whether it's because of this past energy, I do feel that this is something that this is something that you guys both feel a connection in. I do feel that very strongly. Um, the sun and the moon is a counterpart. But there's definitely an energy that there's healing that needs to take place before this is going to come to fruition. Five of Wands with the Six of Swords. The tower in the world so this person or you this past situation is going to have to come to an end whether it's this legal situation that they're having to deal with is going to have to be solidified um this tower is going to have to completely crumble i feel like there's going to be a significant ending here leo um, that causes this to start, this wheel to start rolling. Something's going to take place. Two of Cups, but the Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. So there is a deep connection here, for sure. Um, but there's also some blocks that are coming to the surface. Okay, let's clarify this Magician with the Page of wands and the justice here for Leo. It's a sense here that this is being taken to the next level. Okay. Things are working. I feel like the seeds have been planted. The effort, the progress is going to be made here slowly but surely. Um, in order for this to come together, this guard is going to need to be taken down. Okay. That's only going to happen honestly over time especially if there's been a significant ending or betrayal that this person has had to move through for a lot of you i feel like you are willing to put in a little bit of effort and a little bit of time into this connection i do feel like there is a beautiful energy that can come from all of this if you guys are able to open up to each other a little bit here okay so it's gonna determine some of you are going to be able to open up to each other and it's going to blossom beautifully but some of you are going to have this guard up so high that it's not going to be possible to bring this down okay and I just want to put that out there because it's a possibility we have the tower, we have the seven of uh, wands coming out here. This tells me the four of cups was one of the last cards out with the eight of swords on the bottom. This person is really up in their head, really kind of stuck in their way of thinking. And it's going to need, it's going to need some time and some effort put towards this perspective shift. Let's 
get a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward, Leo. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a look into what this person's intentions are moving forward in this connection. Where is this all headed? And then we're going to do a little spread to see um, how to prepare for this. Okay, we'll take a look into what, what the blockages are for you and this other person to move this forward. If there's What's the outcome if the guidance is followed here? Okay, if there's any extra messages from spirit. And then we're also going to pull out a few different oracle cards. If that's something you guys are interested in, that link is below in the description box. Also, guys, the second link down there is to subscribe to Vimeo. It's $11 and you get access to all the extended readings for all the signs. So check that out. I'm also working on um, getting that same subscription set up for my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. Underlying energy is devil energy. Okay, this is toxicity. Uh, this can be codependency. This can also be addictions, overindulgence, as I like to say. But honestly, Leo, I feel like this is the energy that needs to be released or is in the process of being released. Mm -hmm. There's your card, Leo, right there. This person is having to deal with a difficult situation. There is a possibility that this past person can pop back up, okay? Um, and could very well with the Knight of, Knight of Swords here, with the Page of Swords, either just spy and watch from afar or very well try to sabotage this, okay? Um, focusing on the foundation is going to be important. Getting clear on what it is that you truly want out of this connection. So how do you envision the outcome with this person? Um, and taking it one step further and asking yourself why, you know, why do you enjoy this person's company, this person's energy? And you don't ever have to say that. It's just to kind of help with the longevity in this, right? It kind of takes it that one step further. There's a very high possibility there's going to be a happy outcome from this connection. Um, but again, it's going to take a little bit of work and effort and some time. Trust the process. Getting clear within yourself on where this is headed and why will be important for when you guys have a conversation about that, if it does, if you see potential here. I do feel like this person does feel a connection with you as well, Leo. Um, but I also feel like they're very guarded from their past as well. So let's get a soul journey card out here for you, Leo, if you are finding that this message has been helpful and that it's or that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated and it does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You guys are all amazing humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention, but you have to learn to have fun. Don't neglect things that bring you joy or make you laugh. Besides the health benefits to your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge rewards from the art of joy. Seek out the people who make you feel good about being alive. Avoid cynicism and pessimism. Always look at your cup as being half full instead of half empty. 
the endless chatter of this physical dimension can seep into your conscious mind. So do your best to listen to happy music, read soul enriching fiction, and be weary of news, movies, or TV shows that can darken your mood. Happy people attract happy people. This person may bring out a lighter side in you, Leo, or you bring out a lighter side in this person. Do get a, a definite energy of you guys are helping each other through a healing process. Just kind of taking it easy is what's needed, taking it slow. But it's understandable if you're wanting to move things forward. I don't get a sense that this is going to move forward very quickly. Um, so you're going to really have to trust the process here and just be open to allowing. That's not something that you see yourself doing. Well, then you're going to have to put yourself first, first here is the sense that I'm getting. Okay. Um, this person is holding back then near their energy and uh, withhold your energy as well. But however, I do feel that there is a connection here. This person feels a connection with you. You feel a connection. So I get the sense that even if you were to step, take a step back, this person may reach out. My healing is already in process. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me cleansing and healing every part of my body i know i am worth healing beautiful leo beautiful so leo i feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing Again, if you want to get in on the extended version to the reading, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.